It's Amanda here from Ben Like Bamboo and this week's vlog we are talking about um, our state, our state of mind and how important our state is um, for productivity and for creating things um, and um, inspiration and for good health. And so in a world filled with distractions, with social media, um, being really busy, our to-do list, our inner mind, just always being on, um, it can um, feel familiar, always being distracted. That just can feel like your norm. But um, when we are less distracted, we are more focused. And when we are focused, we can focus on the positive, we can focus on what we want, which takes conscious work because typically when we're stressed or distracted, we tend to focus on what we don't want and worst case scenarios because it's safer. And so let's look at some of the impacts of distraction. Um, on this week's blog, um, I talk all about it, but you know, I see clients that are fatigued. Um, I myself get exhausted when I'm too distracted. Um, I lack in productivity and creativity, anxiety and depression, and just not feeling like your best self. Uh, we can distract ourselves from difficult emotions, um, unable to process life at this time. Um, and for lots of different reasons, we can distract ourselves other than just our daily lives that um, are filled with distractions. But it can be when you're going through a particularly difficult time or when you're unsure about a decision in your workplace or even in your personal life. Um, but when we are distracted, we become stressed and we tend to go into autopilot. And when we're in autopilot, um, we, we tend to be our worst selves and we're coming from a program that's driven by fear that can lead to sabotage. As opposed to being in the moment, which Bruce Lipton calls the honeymoon effect or the honeymoon state, which is when we're in the moment, we're present, and from this state, you can create something new. So the tip on this week's blog is all about well, how do you stay in that positive, in the moment, creative state where you can create something new. You really need tools because um, the brain will, is designed to survive we will always pick that program as a default. So you want to work on feeling as present and as safe as possible where your body will choose growth and repair um, and focusing on the positive. So jump on this week's blog, check out um, my tips, which involve um, state of mind, how to nourish your body on a cellular level and um, enjoy my stretches and exercises that are designed to connect the mind and body. See you next week.